Asymptotic Theory, Wikipedia Article Audio In statistics, asymptotic theory, or large sample theory, is a framework for assessment of properties of estimators and statistical tests. Within this framework, it is typically assumed that the sample size n grows indefinitely, the properties of estimators and tests are then evaluated in the limit as n. In practice, a limit evaluation is treated as being approximately valid for large finite sample sizes, as well. Most statistical problems begin with a data set of size n. The asymptotic theory proceeds by assuming that it is possible to keep collecting additional data, so that the sample size grows infinitely, i.e. n. Under the assumption, many results can be obtained that are unavailable for samples of finite size. An example is the law of large numbers. The law states that for a sequence of independent and identically distributed random variables x1, x2, if one value is drawn from each random variable and the average of the first n values is computed as xn, then the xn conversion probability to the population mean e is n. Overview Modes of Convergence of Random Variables In asymptotic theory, the standard approach is n. For some statistical models, slightly different approaches of asymptotics may be used. For example, with panel data, it is commonly assumed that one dimension in the data remains fixed, whereas the other dimension grows, t equals constant and n, or vice versa. Besides the standard approach to asymptotics, other alternative approaches exist. In many cases, highly accurate results for finite samples can be obtained via numerical methods, even in such cases, though, asymptotic analysis can be useful. This point was made by Small, as follows. A primary goal of asymptotic analysis is to obtain a deeper qualitative understanding of quantitative tools. The conclusions of an asymptotic analysis often supplement the conclusions which can be obtained by numerical methods. A sequence of estimates is said to be consistent, if it converges in probability to the true value of the parameter being estimated. Asymptotic Properties that is, roughly speaking with an infinite amount of data the estimator would almost surely give the correct result for the parameter being estimated. If it is possible to find sequences of non-random constants, and a non-degenerate distribution g such that estimators, then the sequence of estimators, theta, n, is said to have the asymptotic distribution g. Most often, the estimators encountered in practice are asymptotically normal, meaning their asymptotic distribution is the normal distribution, with a n equals theta zero, b n equals n, and g equals n. Consistency Efficiency Asymptotic distribution Asymptotic confidence regions Regularity Asymptotic Theorems Within the local asymptotic normality framework, it is assumed that the value of the true parameter in the model varies slightly with n, such that the nth model corresponds to theta n equals theta plus h slash n. This approach lets us study the regularity of estimators when statistical tests are studied for their power to distinguish against the alternatives that are close to the null hypothesis, it is done within the so-called local alternatives framework, the null hypothesis is H0, theta equals theta 0 and the alternative is H1, theta equals theta 0 plus H slash N. This approach is especially popular for the unit root tests, there are models where the dimension of the parameter space theta n slowly expands with n, 
reflecting the fact that the more observations there are, the more structural effects can be feasibly incorporated in the model, in kernel density estimation and kernel regression, an additional parameter is assumed the bandwidth H. In those models, it is typically taken that H0 as N. The rate of convergence must be chosen carefully, though, usually HN1-5. Notes